Yo, what's up guys, it's Hero here, and as I told you guys previously, I told you guys I would go ahead and talk more about Fantasy Star Online 2 when it gets closer to the date of actual release. And it seems like open beta release is actually next week on the 17th of March. It means I'm hype as fuck! However, something that I really didn't think they would do is release Founders Packs with Fantasy Star Online 2. And basically, we have two packages to choose from, one being more of the Starter Edition package and the other one being the $60 package, which is more of a collaboration package with a few extra items. Now the first edition we're going to go ahead and talk about is the Raggle edition, which is going to be the $30 Founders Pack. Inside this $30 Founders Pack, you'll be able to get something called Raggle Memories, and you'll get 10 of those. You also get a premium set of 30 days. You also get a Mission Pass Golden Ticket and 12 AC Scratch Tickets. Now for those people who've never played PSO2, Raggle Memory is a different type of currency that you'll be able to use at a specific vendor, which is located on the second floor of the shopping plaza. Once there, you'll be able to purchase and obtain PSO1 related costumes, mag devices, stickers, music discs, posters. There's a hell of a lot of stuff you can get from this. If you want to know specifics, I'll leave a link down in the description that will showcase the outfits and everything else that you can obtain. Now, when it comes to premium specifically, premium is very, very useful when it comes to PSO2. With premium, you get a premium storage. You also get your own personal shop, which allows you to sell things to other players players, you also get a larger room. So instead of getting only five spaces for your room, you get 150 item space. So that's pretty big. You also get easier access to other blocks, which means you have access to premium blocks, which are basically channels. You'll also have the ability to get more fun points, which fun points can be used to get another type of ticket or various other items. You also get 40 slots for client orders, which are basically your quest instead of the usual 20. You get two more login stamps per day. You also get three more crafting slots to work with and you also get access to your team storage which is like clan storage you also get access to premium drink which gives you boost like attack maybe more defense maybe more hp maybe more drop chance like it's very useful but the premium ones give you way more percentage so obviously extremely useful you also get the mission gold ticket pass this pass will allow you to do the gold bonus quest and there's also a silver bonus quest as well uh, this will actually grant you a lot of XP when you go through this quest, so I highly recommend dropping some XP tickets on top of a try boost. If you end up finishing this quest rank A or higher, there'll be a box at the camp ship. Once you break open this box, you can get some extreme tickets. Maybe you'll get some craftsman seals. Maybe you'll just get another silver or gold pass again. Who knows? It's RNG. You never know what you're gonna get. So that's basically it when it comes to the Raggle edition. Now let's talk about the Sonic Collaboration edition, which is basically just a collaboration in general. So you have a male Sonic as well as a female Sonic outfit. You get two types of Sonic hair. You also get an emote called Sonic and Tails. You also get Sonic Knuckles weapon camo. You also get a Sonic mask. You also get five Raggle memory, five inventory expansions. You get 30 days of premium. You also get a mission pass gold ticket, beauty salon free pass, character storage expansion times five. You also get 15 150% XP earn tickets and you get 10 125% try boost tickets. You also get 500 grinders, 12 AC scratch tickets, and 50% great enhancement aid times 99. So let's go ahead and talk about this package. I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So if you're a brand new player, you've never played PSO2 a day in your life, I'd personally recommend just buying premium. The reason I say this is because premium comes with a lot of benefits from the get go, definitely in the storage department, as well as being able to sell things on the market. And don't forget, there are fun points. Fun points has its own type of ticket and you may end up getting a poster, maybe some music, maybe some clothing through that. And you'll be able to just throw that up on the market and make some money on the side while you're already grinding the game, which you'll be making money just from grinding alone. However, if you are a new player and you really just want to have an outfit day one, I'd recommend the Raggle edition, mainly due to the fact that you get the Raggle memories, allowing you to buy the PSO1 outfits if you like them. If you don't like them, then just go with premium. And again, there's a link down in the description showcasing what these outfits actually look like. However, if you are a veteran of PSO2, I would obviously recommend the Sonic Edition only if you are a veteran that is trying to grind through the game as fast as possible and basically catch up to where you are in the Japanese version. However, if you're a veteran player that's probably going to take his time and just chill out so he can play with a friend, then I would believe the Raggle Edition would be for you. Because again, Raggle Memory allows you to buy outfits from the get-go, from PSO1, as well as some accessories from the get-go. 
on top of that the mission pass would be great for a veteran player mainly due to the fact that he already knows how to grind it and knows how to be efficient in terms of gaining xp or money making within that process plus we get the 12 ac tickets on top of the premium which means if we get 12 ac tickets and we end up getting stuff that we could actually sell for a decent amount of money then bam our money making process starts from there and that's when we start finessing the fucking market like a badass however again if you are a veteran trying to speed through the game having those xp earned tickets from the sonic collaboration as well as the tri boost grinders as well so you can grind your weapon fairly early like those are self-explanatory for a veteran player those are very useful and again if you're a sonic fan obviously the collaboration sonic event is for you if you are not a sonic fan there's really no point of buying that you know raggle edition would work so that's my two cents on this that's kind of how i feel about all of that um pretty excited i didn't really think it needed to be like a 15 30 minute video i've seen other people try it and i'm like bruh it's not even that serious so i thought i would make a quick little video trying to throw my two cents out there and hopefully you guys enjoyed uh hopefully i helped some of you guys out if i did let me know down in the comment section and if you need any help let me know down in the comment section and if you want to play i do have a discord down in the description i usually don't talk this fast but i gotta go to work so i'll talk to y'all later peace